Hello my shinies, my name is 7 Welcome back to some more Gloomhaven So, we failed the scenario last time And you know what, I actually did retry that scenario again And at first I was winning but after a series of unlucky mistakes and rolls I managed to, yeah, lost again <laughs> uh, But yeah, so basically right with the money that I have, we actually bought Club Invis Invisibility for VV. God. And we actually got this item right here Helix Ring, which is actually very cool. Like, uh, consuming light and dark. To perform heal 25 to self which is good uh, and it's actually uh, perfect for that scenario but actually uh, it's actually very specific that you need light and dark at the same time so actually the item is not very good but we can choose to s Excuse me. we can choose to sell it like ooh, it's actually cost 50 which means 25 gold to sell that's actually Ooh, that's good I might actually do it um, let's see oh yeah and I purchased eagle eye goggles for Vivi uh, she actually needs that lick item Okay, I'm gonna do it. Um, so wait, the helix ring is from with her. bound to Vivi. Ah, oh, we need to to sell it. If I sell it to Vivi, yeah, I guess I can do that. Sell the item, and I'm gonna buy. Bye, come on. Oh, here. <laughs> Oops. Poison dagger. It's actually very good. And yeah, now that we have reputation now, so now the items are cheaper. And stun wing. So strike. Oh, yeah, now she can buy this, but I think. No, poison dagger. Yeah, the boss is immune to poison. Let's have strike. And equip. Can she buy wing boots? Yes, she can. I'm gonna do it. One EXP away from leveling up. Okay, let's see what the city encounter is this time. You are walking home late at night you hear some suspicious sounds coming from a nearby garden. You move to investigate and a shadowy figure bolts. A shadowy figure bolts in the opposite direction, carrying an armful of vegetables. Give chase, the thieves must be brought to justice. Yes! The figure overburdened with vegetables is no match for your speed. You quickly run him down and deliver him to the city guard. Thankfully, very little of pro produce was damaged in the pursuit. You are able to return it to the owner of the garden. Nice. Okay. Anyways, without further ado, let's try that scenario again. Like, I'm still kind of, you know, I'm kind of annoyed that I I already lost twice off screen. Yeah. Let the birds pass. Oh, this is actually the. You are walking down the road when the sound of many wings pulls your gaze to the sky. Above you, you see a large flock of red birds flying southward. At that height, you figure a well-aimed arrow could bring one of them down to make a nice meal. Now here's the thing, uh, this is actually the same encounter I got last time off screen when I lost in that scenario. So I'm just gonna let the birds pass undisturbed, which, you know, uh, doesn't do anything. 
The shot will be difficult, and you prefer not to waste the arrow. You simply move on toward your destination. So basically, nothing happened, which is a lot better than poison. So yeah. On your way to the location. We already heard this before. The building. Oh yeah, I actually got easy, easy uh, battle goals as well. But yeah. four more cards. Wow, that's difficult. Oof, that's difficult. Only short rest? No way. Yeah, screw it, Streamlighter. Like, I'll probably lost that one, but it doesn't matter. Kill four monsters. Okay, that's easy. Be the first to kill monsters during the scenario. Oh no. Allow none of your allies to become exhausted. Hopefully. Hopefully. Here's one. Wow. I actually got really easy battle goals. Ah. All right. This time I will win. No more mistakes. Okay. Brute can be here. He's there. Night Demon's turn. Are you kidding me? This early? Oh my god. Wow, look at that initiative.
Advantage and disadvantage. Yes. Which means normal attack roll. I uh, one shot it. Okay, good. And plus two even. One ah, oh, it survived. Spear dagger. Choice, please, please, please. Time seal. Are you kidding me? Uh, well, I'm not this time. Knives is it possible. So, Venom shit. Visible. Oh, thank goodness, it's stunned. Oh, God. This one. Thank you. 
even want to use the the boots. Um. Oh wait, I want to move. Oh, well, I got screwed. Boots, sure, why not? Swivel, swivel up. Spear dagger. She's going to move here, and because, like, she's acting like a wall, and because uh, the golems are definitely going to try and move closer towards us, characters, so they're going to step in one of these traps. What happened last time is that they stepped on the left one. What do they do? Move two, attack two. Good. That is good. Because they're actually going to. Four immobilize. Ooh. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. The cannon can still hit my, the mine thief if if she is. Uh, I mean, Vivi if she's not invisible. a trap there the golem is not is not dumb enough to step into it because now there's actually a pathway towards the characters so the golems decided not to step into the, the trap and tries to go around Vivi to reach the characters so throwing knives two targets range three 
Now if I use the eagle eye goggles, all of the throwing knives are going to be with advantage. But the question is, do I want to do that? Suffer no damage to throwing knife. It's actually good. Meanwhile, him. I could do something like that. Retaliate 3, range 3, oh no. Oh, and they're fast too. Oh, crap. Great. Assist. It is what it is. Oh, actually, if Vivi can one shot the thing, then it won't retaliate. I don't think that's going to be the case here. I guess the, the best thing to do now is actually not to attack the bones this time. curious to know is if I were to shoot using this because I'm invisible will I actually get retired oh I will get retired ah, okay in that case I'm gonna try my luck and try and kill this thing in one hit now that it's dead I did not get it Take this opportunity and move over here. Do I have scurry? No. To to attack the sun. range 4, all edges and enemies suffer 2 damage. That's a total of 6 HP. He's mm. gonna do it. I'm gonna go here. So with balance measure, check this out. I can actually one, two, three, four. It's pretty silly, but yeah, it's a thing. <laughs> Attack for four damage. Plus five, plus one, so five. <laughs> Poison the enemy 
Yes, we somehow One attack one, okay, it's fine. She could still live. Oh, this actually combos. One, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. She'll just long rest there. definitely going to get the chest okay good out of range one two three four oh yeah out of range good balance measure goodbye keeps summoning he keeps going invisible and then healing himself and then summons allies and then uh, yeah I should have like gang up on him but no I, I couldn't gang up on him uh, let's see so what I want to do now is I need to jump Definitely gonna be like long resting again before going to the the thing. Push one, attack one. Ah, as much as I want to use this. <laughs>
self
reaching the entrance to the sanctum. You, you open the door to a Savaska. Attacks. Okay, just that one. Okay, so moving here seems fine. Can't attack anything. It's fine. It's cursing itself. Perfect. Now I can actually gang up on that boss. Uh, let's see what can I can do. Empathetic assault plus into the night is good. Summon shield one, shield six. All right. Can he be disarmed? Shield one, shield seven. It's fine. Next attack while invisible. So I guess I have no choice but to just loot stuff.
Yikes. Oh, can I really? <sighs> Why do I have to be so unlucky? Mm, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay, right? I can still do this. That's actually the perfect card to burn. But Yeesh. she's not even adjacent. I should have like drank. Oh, well, I have no choice. Oh no, he's invisible. He's going invisible. Ah, again. Two. Yes! Oh, wait, Brute. Why didn't Brute use the crystal? No. Why, uh, my Brute forgot to use the crystal? <laughs> didn't even activate because I forgot to do that. Oh boy.
goodness. Oh, thank goodness I'm gonna win. Oh. Oh my god. I don't know why this scenario is so difficult. Victory! With all your strength, there you drive is. your weapon deep into oh, the Savas's chest, shattering its cores. Suddenly, the unnatural light and darkness is pulled towards the wound, gathering inside it before bursting out yeah. in a huge blast. I actually forgot that the victory condition is literally just to kill that colorless boss. Oh my gosh. The empty body of the Savas drops dead to the floor. The twilight around you returns to normal as you gather your loot and leave the temple. Okay, good. Lies dead. Good. Finally, we can leave. One last time. You stare up at the ceiling and marvel at the impossibility of this place. Ah, uh, yeah, she got exhausted. Oh, well, finally, now, now my shinies, we get to see something cool because all of them leveled up. Finally, we get stronger because level one deck is just so terrible. Vaccine incoming. Okay, so now that we leveled up, good job leveling up. Each time a mercenary levels up, you'll choose one of two new, more powerful ability cards. The card you don't choose will still be available to pick the next time the merc levels up. Leveling up also unlock a new perk for the mercenary. As the mercenary in the party level up, so will the party's general level. This value is used to determine enemy strength, trap damage, and value of loot in dungeons. You didn't expect things to get easier, did you? Wretched creature, that one's bad. Hostile takeover, now this is good. Force one normal enemy. Uh, enemy within range 3 performance. Blah, blah, blah. Hostile takeover is good because of the 9 initiative and attack 2 range 4. Generates cold. Immobilize and 1 HP. I mean, one EXP. Wretched creature. Move. Consume darkness to curse enemy. Hostile takeover is really good. It's not really good, but it's just... It's good. Uh, so, we don't need gnawing horde. We always seem to burn it every round. Every turn. So yeah, now that we got a new perk, I'm gonna be taking something like this. Ignore negative scenario effect. Yeah, this one's good. At this this is what you call a rolling card. So when we attack something, we get plus one or plus zero. If we pull this card, now uh, now our attack stuns the enemy, and then we draw another card. So we might get a plus one attack and then a stun. So this is actually really good. So I'm gonna I'm not gonna pick this for now. I'm actually picking this. Because randomly stunning enemies is just dang good. Meanwhile, her delete character one. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so we're gonna level up. Open wound, there we go. That's one of my most favorite cards. Flintlock. Yeah, who cares about that? Open wound. Initiative of 11. And then wound the enemy. With attack 4. And that 4 can be upgraded to 5. Ooh, this is really good. So yeah, I'm gonna throw away... Something I don't usually use. Everything is good, to be honest. Venom shift is good. Throwing nice special mixture. Mixture's review. Yeah, single out seemingly. No, it's too good. Backstab, yeah, that's one. That's the one I take up. Took out. Open wound goes to the new deck. And now for her, this one. See a random invisible card. This is so good. Remove for this one. Oh my god, every single one is so good. Invisible. Yeah, I'm just gonna pick this one. Intensify. Minus two. Replace with plus zero. And a brute. I, f 
forgot what he gets. Kill one adjacent all enemy. <laughs> juggernaut. Yeah, yeah, this one. Ignore the next three sources of damage. Yep, Juggernaut is good. As for the perk, nothing special. Ignore negative scenario effect and add one. This one's good. Yep. As for gold. Oh, let's do a city encounter first, actually. Before we wrap this up, I'm just gonna do some shopping after the city encounter. You are walking across the silent bridge, headed toward the sleeping line to get a quick meal. When you see a quarter standing in front, of a small cart laden with plates of food and curious contraptions. Come try the delicacies of the East, the Quattro barks. Oh wait, Quattro, whoops. <laughs> You'll know what the races are. Come try the delicacies of the East, the Quattro barks. Food enhanced with science, flavors beyond your wildest imagination. Stop and try to <laughs> Are you serious? You decide to indulge the unknown to see what the Quattrill is offering. He looks very pleased at your approach and instructs you to inhale a tube of vapors, then try, then take a bite from a bowl full of tiny golden spheres. As the spheres melt in your mouth, the taste mixes with the aroma and the vapors to create a wonderful experience. You pay what you can, but the Quattrill seems solely focused on how much you enjoyed the meal. Okay, so basically you paid for the meal. Minus three gold each, but we've been blessed. Blessed is basically the same as critical hit. So the next time we go to a scenario, uh, there's a chance that we draw a blessed card which deals double damage on our next attack. Just that for that attack only. Merchant, um, I don't think. Yeah. Oh, wait, we can buy something. Minor healing potion. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Small item to unlock. Oh, well, we're level 3, then we unlock it. Okay, never mind. That, in that case, I don't think we can buy anything. Except for high arm, which is kind of crappy. Stamina potion. Power. Power is there. Pine, power po potion is just situational. Do we need to buy anything else before we go? Nah, actually. Yep. Okay, so finally we actually win that scenario. It's harder than I thought, but yeah. Alright, so that's it for this video. It's a long one, yeah. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. So, thank you so much for watching. So, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, my shinies. See you next time.